What's up guys? Here with a new video and today we're doing something actually pretty haunted. It's pretty scary. You know, if it's a scary occasion you gotta have that mask on, you know. So, so you guys see these woods? Yeah, you see those by the woods. way by the way, this is completely true. <laughs> it's um haunted. Just okay, we okay, I wouldn't say it haunted, but it ha it has a pretty creepy backstory. backstory. So uh I wanna say around ten years ago there was these this two is my little girls. Cat, yep. Um there were these two girls, like, I think 10 years ago, or it was a while back, and they got kid, well, yeah, they, they went missing, basically, and, um, you know, the police were called and all that, and they were doing a search, and I wouldn't say deep in the woods, but in the woods somewhere, I'm not sure. Yeah, somewhere around. Because I wasn't, I don't there. think I was, like, old enough to know, but yeah, um, yeah, they found, thing, they found one of the girls' dress on the other one's shoes, I think, but they didn't see any sign of the girls until five years back which was what was that 2012 ish and they found um the skeletons of the of one of the girl the second girl's body is still still not found yet so that's pretty creepy what if that girl is still alive i doubt it but um say so we're just gonna be just walking around and whatnot and just explaining stuff about these creepy woods it's terrifying though. It's like, like, there's a whole bunch of scary places. Like, this woods is haunted. A woods over there is haunted, which we might go exploring. We even saw a grave. Like, no joke, we actually saw a oh, grave. Oh, yeah, we saw It wasn't even, it wasn't technically, it was a grave, but it wasn't like a human grave. It was like, a dog grave. Yeah, so. Yeah, um, it was a grave. I'm, um, I'm not going in there right now because it's like damp. Yeah. And there are going to be insects and bugs all over. And, I don't do that. We already went in there when it was kind of rainy once. You know, we just don't do that. It was like last summer, I think. Yeah, yeah. And we were just, um, we were just, you know, walking around the woods. We saw a deer, and we went to follow it. I know, pretty stupid, but, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, we, and we found this. Dog so, we rain. first we found the head, the tombstone. I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah. And it said, and it had stuff over it, and it was like a buried thing, and it had like a stuffed dog over it. So you know we could only assume that it was it was a freaking dog, right? I mean that's cool, but that's yeah. still kind of creepy. It's, and it wasn't exactly on the edge; it was like deep into the woods, like far in. Also, I want to show you this place. So we're gonna have to go over there to do it. You remember the dog um, yeah. thing poster? Oh yes, this is still there though. Uh, okay, I don't so, think so but, oh, backstory. Look, there's a cat. There's a cat. Where? Over there, uh, wait, it's, it's disappearing. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so, um, let me tell you the backstory. It's not even a backstory, it's just kind of... It's, it's just yeah. kind of like, you, you may feel sad for this puppy dog. Yeah, there was this dog, yeah. uh, or I think like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. I was still yeah, in elementary school. I was actually, I was, still in, I was still in elementary school. It was like four years, it was a while back, actually. Yeah, but, yeah. But, um, yeah, so we found this poster. And it was all over, and we, I'm pretty sure we people knew the dog. People gave it to us, and they were looking for their dog. And I, we, my family knew the people, so we knew, we didn't know they had a dog, but, yeah. But, um, yeah, so we took the poster, we did some looking, you know, trying to beat the heroes. I'm pretty sure every kid wanted to do that in this neighborhood at that point. Because, yeah. you know, they were really friendly people, and I just felt bad for them. A lot of people here are friendly people. Yeah, um, and we, and since we couldn't find the dog, we, we were searching for like a month and a half. We just decided to um put the poster thingy with like a piece of paper. We wouldn't um in this, this little was, like kind of back before really we had YouTube stuff and like I we kind of wanted to make like a channel but there's like some old paper that actually might be it. Nah, it was crumbled up, but yeah, we put it in here and we checked it like a couple like weeks ago I think and um. And we found, sorry about that. <laughs> 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 and we, yeah. um, and yeah, we just found it wrinkled up. It, it was like brownish, like a light brown. And, um, yeah. It looked weird and it was very light. If you touched it, it would like break apart. But it was kind of like sand, but it, like it was like connected. It's hard to explain. It's a weird, weird. Like just imagine, just leave a piece of paper outside for a really, really long time. I'm talking years, like a year and, yeah, years, so yeah. Guys, this is like the second woods. This was the woods with the, um, dog. 
the tombstone thing was the graveyard. It wasn't even a grave. My bad, I'm stupid. It wasn't a graveyard. It was, it was a grave, a dog grave. What if Luke is here? Oh yeah, Luke was this creepy, well, I want to say creepy, he was, he was weird. That's be rude. And he would like follow us around. And like, it's, he was, he was unsettling. <laughs> and George's, that dude right there riding the bike. His brother was just hanging out. Because we all left, we were all, we were all, um, oh my gosh. But um, yeah, we were all, we left because we just felt... We just felt on we just don't want to be there. And Brendan I wouldn't say he was soft, but um he felt bad and he just wanted to stay and make sure he was okay. Which is totally fine, like that's that's a nice thing to do. But um what Luke ended up doing was that um he uh what's it called? He had this he went inside, got coffee, <laughs> and he threw it at Brendan. You remember hey, that? Essence, what you talking about? Um the time Luke threw coffee at Brendan, <laughs> it, it was funny. I feel like a dingling for laughing, but it's okay. He was fine. It was funny though, even though I wasn't there. It was also, still funny. I want to tell a little story that was pretty funny during um there was like a blizzard around here in about 2015, oh, yeah. and <laughs> at one point it was very very funny. Um, it was actually it wasn't 2015. It was a little bit later. Um. It was last no, year. it was 2015. It was 20. It was 2015, right? Yeah. It was pretty funny. So we were all over there. Oh yeah, it was this. And this little girl, um, roughly nine years old, or like eight years old, and I'm currently ten years old, and that was about two years ago. So the person is about my age then. So first time, I mean, this is really fun to sled. Like if there's like it's like a hill. I'll show you guys. Like I'll show you guys from the bottom. Look, just look at me. It's pretty steep. Um. <laughs> Leave a like for that. But um, yeah, it was like covered with snow, snow. Sorry, and um, it was ice. There was some. It was like slushy and snow, and we had these sleds. This was back with my other friend. She still lived here. He moved. But um, uh, yeah, we were just sliding. And at one point, we there, we had like two lanes, and like different size. Um, I think it was Brendan. It was him and George. And then it, these were pretty big slides, by the way. And sled, sorry. And um, it was me and Alex on the other one. When we were just ramming into each other while we were <laughs> while we were going down the hill, it was stupid, but it was fun. Oh, I um, better, but about that girl. So she was over there. Cameraman, point over there. She was over there, and she decided to slide down. Now, a little bit... Oh, after, I know what you're talking about. And she, she decided to slide down. Pretty stupid, in my opinion. She yeah, hit that's, her head. Yeah, really, that's really steep. She hit her head on a tree. And Dude, that's not... Like, <laughs> wait, wait, what's her... Was it... Was it... What was her name? Was it Dylan's sister? No, it was like Dylan's sister's friend. Oh, I know. Yeah, the girl with the blonde hair. I didn't really know her, but she was little. Well, yeah, this video gets, what, like, four likes? Four likes? Yeah, we're gonna, so we're gonna make a video of us going to those woods and show you the so graveyard. So, if you do that, leave a like, and then we will be, and if you leave a comment that says, you left the like. But, yeah, I will um, say, I will post in the comment section below, you're my boy, and thank you. Um... So yeah, this it's gonna wrap it up, but I'm just gonna keep recording for a little bit more. Um, what else was there? Um, um my friend has moved. So. Oh yeah, those is. Oh yeah, let me tell you a little bit more about those two girls that went missing. So, there was an Amber Alert too. Like, I've. Sorry, I was on. I'm out of breath. Um.
I don't know why. But yeah, so there's an Amber Alert, and for those who don't know what that is, it's like, it's like a message people get on their phone, I think from like, the, from the public, I don't know, from somewhere, the government or something, maybe the police department, and it basically, an Amber Alert means, it's like, it's like, it's like, um, it like informs people that there was a kidnapping, Dude. and that happened Um, yeah, so, um, I actually, this was two years ago, actually. Talking about an Amber Alert. But yeah, that was two years ago, and I still have my phone, because I just got it, and I was so confused. I had no idea what an Amber Alert was, and I just asked my mom, actually, I set it up, actually, and it said, yeah, kidnapping, and what do you know, three weeks later, they found, um, it wasn't a dead girl, but she was, like, she was really out of shape, like, she looked tired, dehydrated, you know, hungry, you starving. No bad things like that. Yeah, and it wasn't. It wasn't near. It was. It was near this neighborhood. It was. This neighborhood was actually pretty good. Um, yes, it, it was farther it, down the street. Like, there's like this thing. Oh, I, I, I have a story it. about an amber alert. It's a really yeah. short story. So I just got off the bus, right? At this time, I did have my phone, HTC Desire 530. Just saw today <laughs> what it was. So. I just had my phone in my backpack. This is when school was still around. And right now, it's currently summer, so going into that fifth grade, because it's your boy, so. Um, I was, I'm about to go into fifth grade, but at the end of fourth grade, right? So, uh, we we're about to go to a local 7-Eleven, or we were passing by 7-Eleven, and like a local ice cream shop. So, when we were doing that, I, I hear a buzz on my phone and stuff, and I pull up my phone, and you just hear burn, burn. It was like my grandma was like, "Is there a phone alarm going off?" And I look at my phone, and it says Amber Alert. And I was just like, "Oh crap!" Yeah, so but that's gonna this, wrap it up yeah, for this, this video. Again, just four likes. That's it. Pretty short. I would appreciate it. We would appreciate it. And if it reaches that, we're gonna sometime make a video of us going into the, the graveyard. Smash the like for the boy and that big old shout out, so peace.